How do you prepare for the interviews at report card time? Write down your thoughts. So we said um, review our notes that we've made on all the student assessment that we've done. Um, create something like a student portfolio where you and the student choose their best work. Um, if you know the parents and the student well, you can probably anticipate some of the problems that the parents might want to talk about. Um, talk to other teachers about the ch child situation at home, in their classes, etc. So you get that idea as well. Um, we said, uh, send home maybe some sample questions that they might want to ask you at the interview or a form where they can send in questions to help you prepare for what they might uh, do when you show up. Um, and then we said that also the, try to figure out where the interviews are going to be held because it will make a big difference as to whether or not you can take like resources like portfolios down to wherever you're holding the resources. They might not always be in the classroom. So try to get re, uh, reacquaint yourself with the location as well. Great. Any other comments? Report card uh, interviews are usually done in your classroom. Um, never keep a parent waiting. They, you, you could even have a schedule of the times and the parents who are coming, or just the, the child's name, on the outside of the door, your door is closed. Never sit at your desk. Always sit at a round table if you have, um, if you don't have a round table or a square table or some type of table at your, in your room, then use a student's desk and talk because the teacher's desk is power and a lot of parents, as soon as they walk in, and they may have not had a good experience when they were in public school, excuse my back, um, and so they see you at the desk, it's already their back is up. So make it comfortable, um, make it uh, warming, so they come in. Um, in our child's, um, our kids' school, uh, the students ran the interview, so you really can never even talk to the parent, because sometimes you want to find out the nitty gritty of what's going on with your child in the classroom, how is socially, what's going on, or there may be something at home that you want to share with the parent, and you can't because your child's sitting right there. What are you going to say? Can you leave the room for a minute? And then, what are you going to talk about? Type of thing. So it depends on what the school, but it usually is done in the classroom. You should also have your copy that will go in the OSR, uh, which is their student file. Uh, with you so you can go over it because nine times out of ten you wrote, for example, uh, York Region wrote their, because um, that's what I'm associated with right now, they wrote their interviews for their students in February, the middle of February. They were given out March 7th, so it's almost like a whole month later, you forget what you wrote. Um, in the first term of report cards, you write it in the middle of December, the first of December, uh, depending on when your principal wants it. You don't have those interviews until the beginning of December. So again, it's a whole month or three weeks. Sometimes you forgot what you wrote. So you want to review what you've, you've said. It is a good idea to find out what the parents are like. But probably by the December, you will know what the parents are like. You always have meet and greet, you know, um, with the parents in September. And I call it meet the creature night. I don't know who's the creature, the parent or you. But, um, and so you meet with them then. And usually through correspondence, either talking with them or with the agenda or with talking <coughs> with the students, you know what the parents are like by December as well. And so you know how to approach them either. Sometimes you have to walk on eggshells. Sometimes they're very friendly. Uh, sometimes you think um, it's going to be a great interview because the child's great, and all of a sudden the parents come in, Rrr. and other times you think, oh my god, oh my god, I, don't, I dread this interview, and the parents are wonderful. So you never know. You really don't. And it's usually about 15 minutes for the interview. And again, if you need it for longer, then you tell them, let's see you um, another time. And then you have parents that are divorced, and you have to see the mother on one day, and then you have to see the father on another time. It's like, ah! crazy. So sometimes you have to work that out as well. Any other questions about uh, interviews? I loved interviews because I knew my students in December. I knew my students very well and I loved interviews. So and a lot of parent, uh, teachers hate it. They just, they don't want to be, they just don't want to talk to parents and oh my god what are they going to say this and this and this because parents always like to question you and you have to be accountable because it is their child that you have in their classroom. So, uh, but I loved it. And it also depends on your your, your attitude towards the interviews as well. You had a question, please. Uh, just more of a comment. In the place that I was at last year, um, not all teachers had their interviews in their classroom because they had portable. Yes. And it was deemed unsafe for them to be alone in a, in a portable yes. with the parents. So they were sharing classrooms. Uh, or in the library. That can happen the in the library as well. well. Yes, <laughs> if there is in portable. Yeah. Absolutely. Just, yes. That kind of, you know, safety issue. Yes. I usually, I know you're supposed to keep the door closed, but because of my classroom where the table was, where we sat, it was like over there. Just 
just in case there's a problem, I like to have the door open just in, just in case. But uh, that is very true. You don't want, because God forbid you don't know what's going to happen. Usually nothing, but yes, absolutely. One more question, no, please. I was just going to say, adding on to that, we had two buildings for our schools. So we held them all in the gym, and there was okay. a table. And then parents could not easily, rather than wander around the two buildings, would easily be able to move between tables if their kids were in other For classes. the siblings, yeah. Yeah. It so. must have been a noisy gym. It was. It was oh. a lot of fun, though. Yeah, really? <laughs> Got to oh. interact with a lot of yeah. people. Oh, that's so. kind of neat. Yeah. Okay.